Hey and welcome back to the Hardcore I Am and last episode we was trying to sort out the bank a little bit by getting some teak logs to do some construction but I wanted to get the lumberjack outfit first. In the last episode I said I was going to do Monkey Madness 2 and I am indeed going to do that this episode but we're going to start off first by doing a moss giant kill and I dare not try and pronounce what it's called. Okay so I've had this giant mossy key since like pretty much the start of the account so uh, let's go try this. I've no idea how to do this. I've never done this before. Except from, I think you've got to kill these first or something. Oh, do you have to, oh, do you have to chop them down manually? Yeah, there we go. Uh, this, this seems pretty easy. Oh, you've got to damage him first, okay. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to drink my poison. Jeez, that can stack up. That's pretty crazy. And... Oh man, do these things like just appear all the time or something? Um, I best deep before I forget. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you can't tell. So, do that, do that. I think I roughly know what I'm doing now, so... This should finish off the kill fairly quickly now, I think. One more hit. Boom, there we go. What did we get? Anything good? Damn. 100 nature runes. That's really good, actually. That's not a that, not bad drop. Um, I'll probably just keep this in the bank for ages, probably. So I ended up just quickly doing the beginner casket, and oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to do some herb loss, so that's 78 herb coming in, I can make Zamorak brews, uh, probably not going to make them, but I think it's time now to make some sour brews, uh, I'm going to boost up and make as many as I can, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how many I make in the end. Finally, the first sour brews on the account, uh, I made 68 three dose ones, I could make loads more if I really wanted to, but... I don't need that many, but I, I keep looking, and um, yeah, I think I want to start Monkey Madness too. so I might I might start it now, I might not, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, tempted, very tempted. Okay, so I decided to start Monkey Madness, and I am definitely doing the flinching method, because I ain't got much of anything left really, so... Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'll bring you back towards more of the end of... Well, I'm going to call it a fight, but... Uh, yeah, I'll bring you back at the end. I completely forgot to record me killing him, but we killed Crook and didn't use any more supplies or anything, so that's pretty cool. And now to do the next bit of the quest. I can't remember what's next, but... Um, yeah, this quest really isn't that enjoyable. Time for the next really difficult boss. <laughs> Safe spot in Cobb, uh, gotta kill him and I think I gotta kill another one as well, so um, yeah, I might bring you that one, I might not. I killed the other ogre, it was super easy, so yeah, that's that one done. What's next? Now for the possibly the worst part of the quest, is running around, planting all the bombs and messing about. I absolutely hate this bit and it takes ages. And I normally fail a couple of times on this, so I'm hoping I can just do a straight through dry run. I'm going to take my time, I'm not going to try and rush it, because I think that's my problem normally. I just rush it and then get really frustrated. So, yeah, wish me luck. I'll uh, probably be with you if I mess up a lot, or I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I was on the last one and I messed up and I got caught and thrown over, so now I've got to go get... All the explosive stuff again and get all the way to the very top. Oh, it's so far to go as well, but never mind. I kind of expected it, so I'm, uh, I get a bit impatient after a while with these, so never mind. Yes, finally, that's all of them. I need to get back to the boat and watch this place blow up. Oh, I'm so happy about that. It's that time, Neve's gonna come and help us. Steve's just standing in for just five minutes while uh, Neve helps me go and kill everyone, so. Yeah, she'll, she'll definitely be back, won't she? I mean, she's got an Ellie, for God's sake. Hey, that was a nice little bit of practice at Demonic Gorillas, so now he's turned into the big boss, and 
bit of a spoiler here, but um, yeah, Neve, Neve dies, so that's, that's a little bit awkward. So I'm going to go rebank and take on Glau. Ooh, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I'm not entirely sure what setup I'm going to go for as well, so um, we'll have to wait and see. But I've now got my very first Elijah Spirit Shield, so I'm keeping that, definitely. It's cool. I like it. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually store this uh, Elijah Spirit Shield dust in the bank, so that's that's kind of sad. So I'm just going to drop it. I'm, I don't really need it or anything, obviously. So I'm just about to fight Gluff. I'm going to do the first couple of phases. I won't bother recording them or anything. And hopefully you'll see me next uh, at the last phase. This is my setup that I'm taking. Rune arrows and magic sh longbow. No, it's a short bow. Um, I've got the sour brew just in case I need to ticky if I run out of crambrands or something like that. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see you at the end of this fight. Okay, so I've literally just started Glove. I've just done two hits to him so far. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I actually wasn't too worried about killing, killing Gluff because obviously my range level is quite high. I was more bothered about Demonic Gorillas, I think, so... Oh, to have that done is a massive relief and that's basically the quest over. So let's just go finish off the last little bit and that is Monkey Madness 2 almost complete. Hey, that is so nice to see. I've been wanting to finish this quest for so, so long. So, to have Monkey Madness 2 done now is absolutely crazy. So, uh, let's just skip through this. The real sea pod, which is a really good teleport to get to this area here. And also, I think now we can go to um, 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 Monkey Island that I've just completely forgot for some reason. Um, we can go there without having to be a monkey or anything and I don't think we're going to get kicked out anymore or anything like that, so that is awesome. Uh, I think I've got some XP to go collect somewhere and also there's one more thing I want. So now I've unlocked another type of transportation, I can just go straight here to Apatol. Uh that's what it was called, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's just so much quicker and better for when I've got to do clue scrolls around here rather than going through all the dialogue and ending up down here somewhere and having to run through it all and blah blah blah. So that is an awesome little, little time saver there. For the next reward we come in over here and talk to Duke and he offers us 50,000 XP in whatever we want and I definitely want to stick it in magic because then it just saves a little bit of money so uh, it's easy free XP and this takes a lot longer than I thought it would, blah 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 and then he gives us another 50,000 so I'm sticking that back in magic again and I don't think we're getting a level or anything there but it's 100,000 magic experience so that's pretty awesome that saves loads of time and for the next reward the next reward is I can obviously now walk around and none of the monkeys are aggressive to me, which is awesome. And I can actually talk to them now without having to equip the amulet, the monkey speak amulet, so that's awesome. And also, it's now opened up another bank space for me here. Uh, there's another little shop as well that sells javelins, but that's nothing too useful. The next ones are in the Grand Tree area, I believe. So one of the best rewards going is this little monkey backpack. Oh, one minute, let me take the hood off so you can see it a little bit better. That is like the coolest thing ever. I absolutely love that. And also the best reward out of everything is now that I have demonic gorillas down here so I can come and 
farm some uh, Zenite shards. So, yeah, that's, that's probably going to be a while yet, but um, it's something I'm, I want to look into doing soon and hopefully just skip on jewelry and just go straight to Zenites. That'd be ideal anyway. Okay, so I'm ending off the episode here with the beautiful monkey backpack. My hair kind of ruins it a little bit and hides it, but I am so pleased that I've finally got Monkey Madness 2 done. Obviously, I've still got Dragon Slayer 2 to do, and that is very terrifying. Uh, but yeah, so next episode, I'm going to be getting back into construction and chopping a load more logs and getting that sorted so I can clear up some bank space for my Slayer grind. So that will be coming next after that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a subscribe. That would be amazing. And I shall see you next time. And I'd like to say... Not you on. One minute. That was the wrong one. Wave. That's what I wanted to do. Goodbye and see you next time.